Something that's really cool about Angular and a lot of front-end Angular frameworks is this idea of a single-page application, also known as an SPA. These single-page applications basically mean that you don't have to have multiple pages. In the old days of doing HTML or old website design is you would literally have to have an HTML page for every page that's rendered. Angular takes care of that with many different ways to have this like more fluid feeling, more more feeling like you're on a like an, on a mobile device, right? So if you think about on a mobile device, your applications there don't have URLs usually, right? Unless you're in a web application that does a, a web browser, but most of them don't have URLs. Instead, they just load things dynamically. Angular allows us to do that. It allows us to do it in a, in a whole new way. So that's what we actually have to go off of here. And before I actually do some stuff to this index page, I want to just quickly bring your attention to Triangular. I put a new folder in here called SRC, standing for source, and I put everything that we've did so far inside of there. So index and the JavaScript. So that's where it's actually going to exist. I did that off the video just because it's not that big of a deal, but the source code itself for each level or each um, video will actually be inside of that SRC. Now I'm just going to paste in some HTML code in the index.html. And this is very, very basic HTML. There's not a whole lot going on here. There are some settings that are just there by default kind of thing. Um, and But for realistically, all you actually need to make this work is this. That's a bare bones HTML web page right there. Really simple. But I'm going to go ahead and keep in all that other stuff. Um, just to make sure that we're working on a whole nother level. So now that I got this index page, let's actually open it up in the browser. So I'm gonna go ahead and nav navigate into my folder, which is on the desktop. So in try Django SRC, and I'm gonna double click on index. If I double click on index, notice it says hello world, right? This, none of this should be new to you as far as working with HTML. But the thing that we don't want to have anymore is this file location. We actually want to emulate a web browser and that's, or excuse me, emulate a server. And that's why it's so important to download Python because the command for actually emulating uh, a server will have to happen within our project. So if we navigate back into our project from the desktop, so remember where we are, if I go into try Angular here, and list everything out or DIR if you're on Windows. And then we can go into SRC, so CD into SRC. We list everything out. We have index and the JS folder. So in here is where I want to emulate a server. I want to have some sort of like server showing this index file in just a slightly different way. So it's really simple. All we do is Python dash M and it's simple HTTP server, press enter and now it serves on this port. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this command here and we're gonna put it inside of the SRC folder and I'm gonna just make this little quick tips markdown. Cool, so quick, quick tips.md and I'm just gonna put Python in here. So I'll go ahead and clean up that markdown later but um, that's gonna be in quick tips md. So we just created this simple server here and it's serving it on 000 port 8000. So what does that mean? If I go into Chrome and do 0.0.0.0, .0 so four zeros there, and then 8000, press enter, my page now shows up. There's no index.html like we had when we opened it up manually. It now actually renders this page. We wanna do this going forward um, because it's actually, it emulates what it's gonna be like when it's actually live. The other part with the zero stuff, you can probably type out local host and press enter and that will work. You could probably also type out one, um, one more thing, which is 127.0.0.1. So that's another local host. So I'll go ahead and put those also in the quick tips, but basically we're gonna have our serving HTTP right there. And this is showing us that emulated server. 